good to see the document launched today on the uh, leadership um, uh, pathway. Uh, for us, uh, we'll actually take that document and uh, compare it to what we have and see how the women can also be included so we can uh, bump up, so to speak, uh, the women's uh, role in leadership. And I think that's one uh, area that they can, uh, you know, we can actually improve on yeah, so we can see future chief officers who are females. Okay? Yeah. For, for the women uh, in emergency management services, there's a lot of opportunities and it's good to see uh, Pima actually pave the path eh, as to how best we can improve um, you know, channeling of uh, the female gender into male-dominated uh, organization and the service eh, delivery. Eh? So I thought uh, it's really exciting and, uh, and it's actually just opened up doors of opportunities for particularly uh, the women. Yeah. I'm really pleased that through Australian and New Zealand funding we have been able to support SPC to work with the Humanitarian Advisory Group to develop a gender equality strategy for the disaster management sector. We're pleased that this strategy will provide practical, simple advice to disaster management specialists across the region, enabling them to better identify women leaders in the sector. Uh, the intent of the strategy and the learning pathway is really about how uh, the Pima project and SBC can better um, be guided um, by these two documents in supporting uh, our Pima agencies uh, across the region. Um, it, one speaks to gender equality and empowerment, the other is a, is a learning pathway that accompanies it with a focus on leadership. Uh, leadership came out as a broad topic for us to focus on um, at the last Pima meeting.